What's good, TMG fam? It's your boy, Ellen, and I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. Now, why does it feel like it's been a minute since we <laughs> did, like, a, 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 a scary video, bro? I don't know why I feel like that. It's been a minute, though. I feel like it's been an eternity. But either way, I'm back with one, man. And this is going to be the five creepiest ghost sightings caught on tape. Shout outs to, uh, what is this, top fives? Shout outs to top fives for the video, man, all right? So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and let's go. Okay, I've done five ghosts caught on CCTV cameras and most of you seem to really enjoy the footage. So here are what I think are five of the scariest ghost videos captured on camera. And make sure you stay for number one because it's a personal clip of mine. Gettysburg, Pennsylvania has been labeled as one of the most haunted areas in the United States. It was where an intense America versus America three-day battle took place in 1863, with more than 7,000 brave Union and Confederate soldiers being killed and tens of thousands more being wounded and crippled. And it's here where what's believed to be one of the most compelling pieces of ghost footage was shot, and here it is. <laughs> Nah, I look like little orbs keep. See, I hate that I know what that is now. I keep seeing like looks like to be little dots keep hitting the screen, look like orbs, and then somebody keep flashing in and out on the 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 left side. Do y'all? I know I'm not tripping. I'm seeing that. It was. Sh Motorcycles, honey. There's another spot. You see what I'm saying? What is that? Tree. No. You've moved it, right? Right there. See? Uh huh. Look. Is it those people? Can't be. Not up in the trees. Yeah, that's too high. Like, height-wise, unless Manute Bowl is out there, and I doubt that, that's high. Like, explain, somebody make that make sense to me how it keeps coming. Now, it could be the fact that it looked like it's an old camera. So we could be seeing glitches of the lens or whatever, or something happening on the in the camera. But that, uh, it's just in and out and, like, no. Nah. There's nobody down there no more. See? What do you think? Is the white misty figure walking around in the trees simply an illusion, or could it be one of the soldiers who lost their lives during the 1800 battle? St. Augustine Lighthouse. In 2006, the popular paranormal team Ghost Hunters visited St. Augustine, Florida to investigate a historical lighthouse which was built in 1874. It's believed to be one of the most haunted lighthouses in the world, with visitors and workers allegedly witnessing numerous paranormal activities, from hearing voices and unexplained sounds to the sighting of two little girls standing on the lighthouse catwalk who are believed to be the daughters of the superintendent of the lighthouse's construction. Both girls drowned in an accident during the building of the tower. Other reports are of a woman seen on the lighthouse stairway or walking in the yard outside the buildings. The Ghost Hunters crew set up an audio unit in the lighthouse tower alongside a camera that was positioned to shoot up the lighthouse's spiral stairs. And let's take a look at what they captured. Now, look. now before we check out that, I hope they got like permission from the family or stuff like that because you just you lost now whether the family is still alive or the parents are still alive but it's still family out there that had to either witness and or endure this tragedy you know what i'm saying those two girls lost their life so i'll be hoping they get like you know what i'm saying permission before they air out and make somebody relive that tragedy you know what i mean that was just something that popped in my head though my bad let's keep going uh, the lighthouse's spiral stairs and let's take a look at what they captured now look look at the very top was that just leaning over right watch. there? Yeah. Watch. You're going to see it go up, up two flights of stairs in a matter of a couple seconds. Watch. Boom. Boom. And there it is. Peeking right over at us. That gives me chills right now. Because I remember seeing it. That's pretty strange, and the video clearly shows some sort of figure at the top of the stairs, and it appears to turn and look directly at the camera. The hospital ghost. 
Now, this is only a short clip, and the camera no. seemed to have recorded it in sections, but after searching for hours, I can't find any information on the clip, but what is known is that it was taken in a hospital and seems to show a figure leaning over a patient. Whoa, whoa, go back. That look like two little kids on all fours. Two little ghostly kids on all fours now. Yeah, yeah, I would need to know exactly what happened in this hospital. Background, everything. ...of it in sections, but after searching for hours, I can't find any information on the clip, but what is known is that it was taken in a hospital and seems to show a figure leaning over a patient. Take a look. It's a shame the video isn't longer and that I can't find any information on it, but some people say it's a bug on the camera lens and others say it's a ghost who came to visit a family member in hospital. Came to visit or came to possess? That don't look like a visit. That looked like they was trying to like jump in that body, bro. The video isn't longer and that I can't find any information on it, but some- Right there. Like, it's just like they couldn't make entry for some reason. You know how in certain movies they'd be like, oh, that person's too good, they have too good of a soul. You have to possess like some form of hate or something in your body in order for that, that ghost or that possession to take place because they feed off of the hate and the negativity and all that type of stuff. You're too good of a person for it to happen to you. That's what this kind of looks like. And remind, man, maybe I should write like a, one of these movies, bro. I, I got it down pat. Some people say it's a bug on the camera lens and others say it's a ghost who came to visit a family member in hospital. Considered to be one of the most haunted places in America, the Eastern State Penitentiary really is a remarkable place that has so much history surrounding it. It was built in 1829 and has over 100 years of suicide, madness, disease, despair, torture and murder. And with the harsh punishments used on prisoners, you can see why it has a reputation for itself. I'm not going in- Bro, imagine being in prison in that. Do you see that? Bro, that looks like a, a line of solitary confinement rooms, cells, is what that looked like, bro. It looked like some torture went on in here, some long days. Like, you ever watch Prison Break? And it's it's that, that very last season where they was in that crazy looking prison. Yeah, that's what this looks like, bro. Like the worst of the worst is 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 here into too much detail because I will save that for my five most haunted prisons video, but the prisoners would be strapped to what was called the mad chair, which bound them so tightly that circulation was cut off, often resulting in the amputation of limbs. The iron gag was another method used, in which an inmate's hands were tied behind their back and strapped to an iron collar that was placed in their mouth. So like, we need to bring that back. Like, we need to bring that back. Some of these, and, and uh, I know I'm wrong for saying that, but some of these child predators, bro, it is what it is at, at this point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bring that back where you strap so tight that it just cuts off the circulation and you you lose limbs. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is insane. Look, two hands strapped behind your back tied to a gag that's in your mouth, fam. Like, who thought of that? Who's the person <laughs> that came up with that type of design? He needs to be investigated, too so that any movement caused the tongue to tear and bleed profusely. In 2004... Any movement your tongue will tear. Oh no, hear that again. Hear this whole setup again. Often resulting in the amputation of limbs. The iron gag was another method used in which an inmate's hands were tied behind their back and strapped to an iron collar that was placed in their mouth so that any movement caused the tongue to tear and bleed profusely. You gotta sit still for hours on hours. Or if not, you lose your tongue. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> they were creative and crazy back in the day. Some, ah. In 2004, the Ghost Hunters crew visited the prison and one of the cameras they were using was positioned looking down a cell block. And this is what they captured. You can see some sort of figure walking towards the camera and then bolt back down the hall extremely fast. Ooh. What do you think it was? Now, I cannot confirm the authenticity of any of those four clips because I didn't witness them firsthand, but this clip I can assure you is 100% real because I recorded it myself, and you have my word that I have not tampered with it whatsoever. I am very skeptical to the paranormal, but certainly have an open mind about it. 
And right. I'm not saying this is proof of ghosts, but it's certainly strange and creeped me and my girlfriend out. We were both visiting Longley House for our anniversary in 2014, and Longley is best known for its safari park, but in the 900 acres of beautiful parkland is Longley House. A his Yo, I know this has nothing to do with nothing. I would never do this, though. <laughs> I would never do this. Look at all these people right now. I know it's a safari, blah, blah, blah. But if these animals want you, bro, don't think you inside that car stopping them from trying to get at you, fam. Like, <laughs> seriously. Seriously. And hey, look at all the kids in there. Nah, bro. Nah, I'm cool. The zoo is as close as I'm getting. Home for its safari park, but in the 900 acres of beautiful parkland is Longley House, a historical 16th century house that has its fair share of paranormal sightings. The most famous of Longley's ghosts is that of Lady Louisa, who was married to Thomas Thine, the resident of Longley House in 1733. He allowed her to bring one of her own serving staff to Longley as part of their wedding arrangements. One of her entourage was a young footman who adored her. After suspecting something was up, Thomas confronted the man in a passageway beside a spiral staircase. An altercation took place, whereby Thomas accused the footman of harassing his wife, which he denied. In a fit of rage, Thomas lost his temper and pushed the footman down the stairs, breaking his neck in the fall. Ooh. Thomas then told his wife that the man had left without a word, but she did not believe him and began looking for him. During a night search, she caught a chill which developed into pneumonia. Lady Louisa succumbed to her illness during childbirth and died in 1736. Ever since her death, reports from staff claim they have seen Lady Louisa prowling the passageway where the incident had taken place. And even today, she is said to be heard banging on doors in a desperate and endless search to locate the whereabouts of her footman. So basically, Longley have put up a hologram of this footman's ghostly shadow walking down the stairs. It's very cool to watch, and I knew my dad, who loves all things paranormal, would love to see it. So I decided to film the hologram to send to him. When I was filming, my phone began to malfunction and seemed to have some sort of interference. I was pretty confused at first and just stopped recording and deleted the video because I thought my yes. phone was just playing up. I then recorded down the hallway to see if my phone was messing up again, but it recorded fine. So I said to my girlfriend, who didn't see my phone malfunctioning at the time, should I try record it again and how mad would it be if it happened a second time around? So I walked back to- Recognize the signs. You recognize the signs. Recognize the signs, bro. Something's telling you don't film. You go out, you figure out that when you was inside filming, it wouldn't work. You go outside, it's working now. That's the sign to say you're not supposed to film in there. Something doesn't want you to film. But no, you go right back and try it again. Should I try record it again? And how mad would it be if it happened a second time around? So I walked back to the spot where it happened, and here is what I recorded. That's got to be the people that, that ha own that house and, uh, and allow you to come in there and do that type of stuff. That's got to be them. Because if not, that's crazy. Because you can see the shadow, but you don't see nobody. You see a shadow on the floor, but you don't see... Yeah, yeah. I, yeah it it got to be some type of uh, thing they got set up to make it do that. Still creepy though. That's still messed up. That's crazy, and don't forget I have been using my phone to record all day, and I'm always recording things, and this has never ever happened. I still have the same phone, and it has never happened since. So anyway, as we were walking down the hallway, we saw a tour guide, and I asked her, is there anything in this room or building which could mess with my phone? But she said there was absolutely nothing in the area. They're not going to tell you the truth. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm trying not to be a skeptic about it, you know what I mean? Because if this is true, 
And he just witnessed something that's super so paranormal. I don't think nobody had ever seen nothing like that. They could mess with it. I then showed her the video and she was absolutely jaw smacked. She had no idea what could have caused it and said so herself that during her time working for the house, she has seen numerous paranormal things that cannot be explained. So that's my very own clip. And like I said, I'm not trying to say it's proof of ghosts, but it's certainly strange. And after looking on the internet, I cannot find anything on why my phone would have done this. If anyone has any ideas, paranormal or not, please leave a comment. So that's it for the video. I hope you've enjoyed and see you next week for a super interesting video. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, they, they, they probably got that set up and they're not going to tell you. They're going to, they're trained. But if that is not, he's actually legitimately telling the truth. That's insane, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. And they need to shut that place down, fam. Get whoever that paranormal being is, just it's yours. The place is yours, bro. The place is yours. You can have it. You know what I'm saying? Listen, man. Y'all get at me in the comment section, though. Let me know how y'all feel. Real fake, hoax or not. What do y'all think? You know what I mean? I'm leaning more so on the lines of that's that's how they got that place set up. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know. It's your boy L. Y'all get at me in the comment section. Leave a like as well and subscribe if you're new. Till the next reaction of my piece, y'all stay solid. Hey.